My name's Ricardo Gonsalves. I am 30 and I grew up in Wollongong. So I studied a Bachelor of Commerce, majoring in Marketing and Economics. Graduated in 2001 at Wollongong Uni. Well, my family originated from Portugal. So mum and dad and, and their family came, came down in the 70s. Uh, I was the first one in that generation, or in my generation of the family, to go into university. So that was kind of a big deal. Um, but obviously coming from a, a Portuguese, a very working class family, they really wanted to see uh, their kids and, 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 the, and the younger generation study to, to do something a bit different. So they actually, mum always wanted me to be an accountant which I didn't want to be, um, but hey, I still did the commerce degree anyway and, and I'm still doing what I want to do. I wanted to be a journalist from the very beginning. Uh, one person, a journalist by the name of Paul Barry when I was younger, said to me, why don't you think about getting a business degree instead of a proper comma communications degree and get into journalism that way? I think one of the first things, I was very determined, so I spoke to a lot of other journalists to find out how they got into journalism, and there was lots of different experiences from, or different advice that I received. As I mentioned, Paul Barry was one of the first journalists that said, hey, think about getting a finance degree. So on the side though, I had to do lots of work experience, so it wasn't all just theoretical, there was a lot of practical work involved, so it's not just university, it's other things, so you've got to um, be really motivated. So what I did, I called all the newsrooms around Wollongong and in Sydney to do some free work experience. I'm naturally a very busy person, so I like to be busy all the time, so while I was at uni I was working one day a week at Wynn was earning money by working at David Jones in Wollongong as well, one a couple of days, um, having responsibilities with family, making sure you had a bit of a social life, which at Wollongong Uni, or any uni, it's not necessarily hard to do. Um, so it's just making sure that there's a balance, which there is at, at Wollongong Uni. So you've got the outdoor areas, the sport and recreation areas, you've got your pub, and it's very, very close to all the amenities like your beaches and that sort of stuff. So um, to, have to balance studies and a social life and work wasn't really that hard. I think um, determination is always number one. I think um, if money is always an issue, well, obviously Wollongong Uni's got one of those success rates where graduates do get jobs or there's a high rate of um, employment straight out of university, so that money comes down the track. Any investment in education is probably the best, best investment one person can make. Um, and it's just a bit of determination. If people think it's hard, once you're at uni, it, it's like bought off a duck's back sort of thing. You just know you've got to do it. Here at SBS World News Australia, there is a different news story every day. So one day you could be covering like one of the major incidences just recently, the, the Queensland floods, the Victoria floods. So you'll be talking about something really serious one day. The next day you could be talking to an actor or an actor about, or actress about a movie. So it's quite interesting, talking about something different. And one of the most exciting things I did recently here for SBS was I travelled to New York. It wasn't necessarily exciting, but I covered the September 11 anniversaries. So to do a cross out of Ground Zero, where a massive incident occurred nine years on, and to experience it, 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 it lets you also see other parts of the world and experience the feelings that other people experience as well. So it's, um, it, it's kind of a unique characteristic that only a journalist has in terms of job experience. Predominantly with this job, as a journalist, most of what I learnt was on, on, on the job. So my experience at university was that I got the theoretical knowledge of the business side of things. So I learnt everything about economics and marketing, that's my major, so that they were my majors. Um, but all the journalism stuff was learnt on the job. You're at university for a number of hours, every day dealing with the same people with the same interests, so you're bound to make some pretty strong friendships. So I've maintained a number of those friendships. I guess the difference for me is coming from a commerce degree, but then working in a different area than where you're specialised. Uh, you don't necessarily work in the same environments as a lot of your mates would have. So for example, I've got mates that work in banks, uh, that work in the retail sector and that sort of thing. Um, but most of them we've still kept in touch. I've got um, a motto, 
uh, it's perseverance and persistence. Um, I think employers, for example, like to see that someone is motivated and keen to do something. Um, you do have to work hard to get something out of life. If there's a bit of a sparkle in your eye and there's that bit of motivation, you will get uh, a bit of experience and, and a bit of a chance, but then it's up to you to take that chance and take that experience to the next level.